Hey guys, for those of you that have been asking which app I use, this is the video for you. And this is the AdGlow tutorial and how to use it. So basically you want to type in the web and you want to type on this. AdGlow do to download. So make sure it's GL and not LG. This is very important or else you won't get the website. So now you want to click this, download Aglodoo. Now I've already downloaded Aglodoo, except you can you can download it by just well downloading it. And now I'm gonna show you how to use it. So you basic so you'll basically see all this. Now, just in case you want a tutorial, you can click there. So, load up a new world. Click this paper. When you get onto it, you'll see new scene. Click default. Now, what does this box tool do? Now, hold the left click button to choose how wide and how tall you want your box. I'll make it this. Now why is the gravity not going? Well it's because this right here, click it or if you're on the PC maybe tap the space, the space bar. Now the circle is a little bit different. Instead of choosing how tall you want, you can you can just choose it like this. Although, what is this for? Well, this is for random draw objects. So, for example, let's copy and paste this two times. Now, you see how the gravity changes whenever you click it? Now, this is physics game. So, for example, it'll slide down and go to the ground. Now you're probably wondering, what is this? A plane? Well, this is your ending of your level. If you remove it by undoing or erasing it, then you can have a look at that. Now let's right click the object and then we can glue to the background. Now hold your right click. You'll see these Y and these arrows. Now let's change our box this way. Now you have them sliding up then sliding to the middle. Now, now let's right click a new box. Now, how do you make a machine? Well, with these axles, of course. So add an axle onto a block you want. Then use the box tool over the axle and the box you're using. You'll see it's not working. And why is this not working? It's because the axles aren't motors. This has to be motors or else this won't work. So set it to motor. If you want it super fast, just go this way. And everything will start to fling around. But if you want it slow, then just put it this way. So, so, you might be wondering, then how do you make all these number blocks thingies? Now, let's load up a new world, since this world, well, it isn't that good. 
Now you can see, make mile. Make it 1M, which stands for mile. Then change the first number block to red. So that will make it say that the number block is 1. Change the other number block to about 2 miles wide. I mean, 2 miles tall. And then you'll get this number block. Change it to orange. Now you'll make it want to have 3 miles tall. Make this the number block 3. Switch it to yellow. Although, how do you switch this to yellow? Or how do you switch any of these? Well, you'll see in the top right hand corner, you'll see this, this paint tool. And you can paint anything you want. So for example, we can make number block four like this. A two by two square. Then move it next to three. Whoops, how did that happen? Well, it's because the simulator was still pog was still activated. When it's activated, you can interact your objects. Up, left, right, down. But, for example, how do you change the background? Well, right click anywhere between, but not, but not all the boxes you have, and there you go, you can change the background. You can set it to just normal blue, maybe dark blue, maybe just set it to nighttime, maybe. I'll have it at normal blue. Normal 2D game blue. Make more number blocks with your creativity. But I haven't showed off the rest. You can also you can also make these for your number blocks. And you can erase tools by by using this eraser tool. Erase your number blocks, maybe. Just in case you made a mistake. Oh, yeah. Now we're really starting to interact with our objects. So, for example, let's go to this. Let's go to the 1 to 100 realistic. We can interact to our number blocks here. Now, for example, we can just put 11 up, make a voice for him. Woohoo, you're setting me up. And make the voice for the rest. Maybe watch some number blocks or something, and maybe, and maybe, maybe watch my videos to see how I do the voices. So, so that way you can do the voices. That's how to interact with your objects. Although, how do you cut them apart? Well, use this knife tool. Let's use it on 25 real quick. Now, for example, this is like the eraser tool, except it doesn't erase any kind of part with the object now when you right click it it'll show these outlines we can loosen them to all the other objects so you can cut them apart how about this well this is a sketch tool all tools wrapped into one Although you can it's just like the cut tool, so don't even worry about it. This is also a drawing tool. 
So for example, you can make your own tools. Like for example, let's make like little elephant sort of shapey. And let's cut it. So we can make this be the tail. But how do we make it connect together? You might ask. Well, you can glue them together. Right click it, go to geometry actions and click and click this glue together. And you'll have your very own well customizing. Let's make it a real elephant. Now we can we can send it all the way over there, for example by just flinging it with the dragger tool. Now, for example, we don't really know what side it's going to face. It's going to face this way. So if you're making an animal or something, then, then when you change it right, when you change it white, It'll have this texture. Make it not have a texture and make it set to one. Or maybe close to one if you're having a little bit of trouble. So for example, let's just put this to black. There we go, we have our very own elephant, except its eyes pop away. So box it around again. Right click, glue together. There you go. Your very own pet. Or something like that. You can do this too for the number blocks. And that's all for now. You can watch one of my videos here. Or my watch my channel here. So, you might enjoy my videos, maybe, but if you like this video, maybe give it one. Anyways, that's all for now. Hope, hope you enjoy and have a good day. Bye, guys.